all right guys what's going on here check it out just opened the box just delivered rico gr3 diary edition check that out so let's do a quick unboxing and just a few initial impressions video on this all right so right up top you have your manual operating manual some additional paperwork there this is your warranty card yep and your ring in here you have your battery this includes one battery rico db 110 so we have your little wrist strap the actual camera body god i'm a hard time getting it out before i open that let me just double check anything else in here oh here we go and cable usb a to usb c and you have a not sure the charger here oh i don't know this is a little weird to me i'm gonna have to figure this out all right, guys, um, I did not see this in the box, so that's why I couldn't figure this out. I thought this had to slide out or something, but what you actually have to do is grab this and slide it in, and it clicks, and then you plug in your USB-C or USB-A to USB-C cable here, and then you can charge your camera that way. That's all you get in the box. Now, let's take a look at the actual camera. Comes packed really well. So this is a limited edition. Well, initially it was a limited edition. I believe Rico released 2,000 of these. And check that out. But now they're, they're out in the market. So they, they came through and they are selling these. I really like this design. It's very compact, lightweight, very portable camera. It's one of the main reasons why I decided to buy this camera. Uh, on the back here, you see the LCD screen. It's about an three inch LCD screen. You have all your controls back here, menu, display, your wheel, ISO, uh, drive, white balance and macro there. You have a function button. You have your adjustment here, which it adjusts the exposure. Let's do unpowered on there. So yeah, this will adjust the exposure here. This will, the actual shutter speed. Up top here, you have your shutter button, which is like a pill shaped shutter button, power button there on, has a green light. You have a press this little button right here to move the dial here for your modes and keep it in manual mode for now. And then right up about here, you see this wheel right here? That is your aperture button. So you can control your aperture there. I really like this design, very sleek. I like the color scheme on it. I went ahead and put the uh, camera strap on there. And I just really like this design. The first release of the uh, unlimited version had a different color cap right here, and it, I believe it said limited edition or something like that. That's not a big deal to me. Let me go ahead and power it off real quick. I uh, want to show you here, there's a button on the ring that you can see right there. You gotta press that and turn the ring if you wanna change the rings. You can buy different color rings if you want. This one includes a black one, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that one. And also, let me show you here, the. this is the filter adapter that I bought, the N Nissi lens adapter. It's for the Ricoh GR3, and it has a white dot there. You gotta line that up over here with this dot on the actual camera to secure that into place like that. So now, when you have that on, you could add a filter onto your Ricoh GR3. 49 millimeter thread here, so you can add a, a UV filter, or black pro mist filter, whatever filter you wanna add there, ND filter. Um, and you just take that off like that. If you want to put that back, take that off and then put your ring back on. But uh, very easy to modify there. On the bottom, you have a quarter inch thread right here for your, you want to attach this to a tripod or whatnot. And on the bottom here is your, again, your battery compartment, SD card. Very nice little camera. Right here you have your charging port, the USB-C charging port. Right there and this um, hand grip right here is like a rubber material it's 
very nice, very compact. Um, I don't have very big hands, but this is a very compact camera. And again, this has a 18.3 millimeter lens, which is a 28 millimeter uh, equivalent in full frame, f2.8. It has that APS-C uh, sensor in here. It's a 24.2 megapixel sensor. And uh, I expect this to deliver some exceptional image quality. We'll see as I get out and start using this for uh, my street photography outings or not only that I plan on just bringing this along everywhere with me it's hard not to look at this but yeah I was checking this earlier the touch screen is very responsive look at that and I'm not going to go through the menu mode today but I've just navigated through here looked at the menu very easy uh, menu to navigate not very complicated like some other camera systems uh, everything's easy to find and customize and you can also customize some of these buttons, which I haven't done just yet, but I plan on uh, doing. Again, this is just an initial impressions video of the actual camera, like the physical camera. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but you have your video and Bluetooth or wireless button here. So you press that and you can connect to your phone. It only has 1080p HD video, uh, but I didn't buy this for video. I, I really That doesn't really bother me. And also, I didn't mention this here is your playback button. So if you press that, press your review your images there. So yeah, this is the Ricoh GR3 Diary Edition. Can't wait to get out and shoot. Uh, again, if you guys want to check my photo Marlin channel out, that's a street photography channel. I'm going to be posting some POV videos over there using this camera. But yeah, overall, my first impressions of the Ricoh GR3 Diary Edition are extremely positive. Uh, I really like the design. It's a very nice design in my opinion. I like the colors. I like the little accent marks as I mentioned earlier. It's got a powerful sensor in it for a compact uh, camera like this. I like the form factor of this camera. I can't speak much of the performance because I have not used it yet. And again, this is my first Ricoh ever. From everything that I've heard and read, it performs well. So I can't wait to dive deeper into this camera and share more details and insights with you guys uh, on a, in a later video. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.